I'm Jason Horn, spirits columnist for Playboy.com and professional alcoholic, and today I'm taste testing bottom shelf vodka. It's going to be great. What you're looking for in a good vodka is something basically that's inoffensive. You don't want any off flavors, off smells, never anything bitter, never anything harsh, and it really shouldn't burn going down. All the vodkas today I'm trying are under 12 bucks, so if I like any of them, they're definitely worth buying. All right, let's taste some vodka. Burns a little in the nose. It smells harsh, so let's see if it tastes harsh. Yep. It burns, but not in a totally horrible way. There's something there. There's kind of flavors to, to tease out. Maybe this one would be good for a, for a Bloody Mary. The spices would help cover up that, that burn. Yeah, I'll say this is a good solid B. It tastes like it's probably made from grain. I'm gonna guess Pinnacle. Pinnacle, yes, I was right. This vodka grew from basically nowhere to being one of the top three or four vodka brands in the country on the basis of all of its crazy flavors. So there's probably 30 different flavors of Pinnacle. International Wine and Spirit Competition Quality Award of 2013. Not bad. I'm not really getting anything off of this one. A little bit of alcohol, but no flavors, no, no notes. This is a very, very neutral vodka, which could be a good thing. This is surprisingly good, and it's not just that it's neutral, it has kind of some interesting herbal, almost a little bit of a savory quality. It's got a little bit of oiliness in a good way, which usually is a sign of potato vodka. This is a solid vodka, uh, A minus. Popov in a plastic giant jug, wow. I guess that just goes to show you that the cheapest of vodkas are apparently the best. Bottled by the Popov Distilling Company in Connecticut, which of course is filled with these lovely Russian Orthodox churches. Popov is a special blend of select ingredients with a remarkably smooth taste that is great for mixing straight up around the rocks. I'm pleasantly surprised. Well done, Popov. This one burns a little in the nose. Yeah. All right. Definitely a lot of acetone. <laughs> Don't have a lot of confidence in this one. Yeah, that's awful. Uh, it's, it's somehow bitter almost tastes burnt, which doesn't make any sense. That This is not a vodka that people should be drinking. This would be very good at disinfecting wounds. This is a D. UV. I've heard of UV before. They're definitely known for their like candy flavored nonsense because their vodka is not so good. It didn't burn too bad. It just tasted awful. Distilled in Princeton, Minnesota. Uh, you can get much better booze made in Minnesota than this. Smells like nothing, not even alcohol. Kind of tastes like nothing too. There's a little hint of sweetness, but then you swallow it and it's gone. Completely inoffensive. This is what the law says vodka should be. It has no character, no flavor. The mouthfeel is, is like nothing. It has the texture of, of water. I think it might be good for shots. If you chilled it down in the freezer, it would kind of thicken up a little bit. It would have a little bit more mouthfeel. There's absolutely nothing that stands out about this vodka. But there's also nothing negative about this vodka. Let's give it a C plus. All right, good old Smirnoff. I guess that makes sense. It's a classic vodka and it tastes like nothing like vodka should. Triple distilled, 10 times filtered. Maybe it's all that filtration. This is distilled in the United States. Not distilled in Russia, despite what you might think. Smirnoff, the wonder bread of vodka. I'm not drinking vodka anymore for at least a month. It's, it's a little harsh. I'm getting a little bit of uh, nose hair singe on this one, but not anything besides alcohol, which may be a good sign or maybe a bad sign. Let's find out. It's not bad. Uh, a lot of citrus, a little bit of apple. Doesn't taste super sweet. Sometimes vodkas add sugar to, to add a lot of sweetness. This doesn't seem to be a lot of that. It's just some nice fruit flavor. This is a fairly good vodka. I'm gonna give this a B plus. Aha, Svedka. Vodka made by robots from the future. This is distilled from grain. Because they don't specify, it probably means corn. Usually corn gives you a lot of sweetness. Uh, but yeah, Svedka, very much inoffensive. Got some nice flavors to it. It's pretty good stuff. 
Today's winner with an A minus uh, pop off, the cheapest plasticiest vodka that we had today. What we learned today, I guess, is that sometimes the bottom shelf vodkas can be just as good as the expensive ones. For the most part, vodka price is based on marketing and image. There's very little difference between pop off and something that sells for maybe 40 or 50 dollars a bottle. If you learn anything from this, it's that when it comes to vodka, cost and quality are pretty much entirely unrelated, and that fake Russian motifs make for very good American vodka. For Playboy.com, I'm Jason Horn. I'm just going to turn on our pan to very low, break up the eggs. Okay, at this point I'll add a little bit of butter to the pan. 